dear students today we are discussing with traffic flow and control module 3 of traffic engineering and management in this we are going to discuss today's topic is traffic signs uh, traffic signs are the uh, signs which are uh, provided at the edge of the carriageway to give information to the road users. Okay, so traffic signs can be classified into three types according to Motor Vehicle Act of India, 1988. So first one is regulatory signs, second one is warning signs, and third one is informatory signs. Regulatory signs are uh, general features of regulatory signs are these are also known as mandatory signs mandatory signs okay this is the these are used for to inform the road users of certain rules and regulations laws and regulations and prohibitions which are to be followed on the road so any violation of trespassers or violators will be prosecuted will be penalized so the violation of any regulatory sign is it is a legal offense and it is punishable as specified according to motor vehicle act they will be punished according to the motor vehicle act uh, who, who the violators traffic rules violators all the regulatory signs are circular in shape the shape of the signboard is circular except two signboards that is a stop sign and a giveaway sign stop sign is of octagonal shape and the giveaway sign is a inverted triangle. That means apex showing downwards. Generally, triangle means uh, apex will be upward. Here, inverted triangle. That means the apex should be uh, in downwards. So these are the regulatory or mandatory signs. This is the first category of traffic signs. See, this is this is stop. This is a octagonal shape, octagonal shape, and this is give way inverted triangle shape. Okay, and uh, this is uh, pedestrian prohibited, horn prohibited, no parking sign, no stopping or standing standing sign, speed limit, right hand curve, left hand curve, right hairpin bend, left hairpin bend, narrow road ahead, narrow bridge. Pedestrian crossing, school ahead, roundabout, dangerous dip, hump or rough, barrier ahead. So these are the um, some some of the regulatory or mandatory signs. Stop and giveaway signs. So these are the stop and giveaway signs. So these are also known as prohibitory signs. No parking and no stopping. No parking and no stopping signs, uh, speed limit signs, and vehicle control signs, restricted end signs, restricted end signs, and compulsory direction control and other signs. These are all comes under regulatory and mandatory signs. First, we will know about the stop sign, which is in octagonal shape and a red in color. See here, this is stop sign. It is shaped in the octagonal shape and the color is red. Red in color with a white border. See, if you see the border, it is a white border of 30 mm width. White border of 30 mm width. The stop sign is intended to stop the vehicles entering at a major road from a minor or side road. So, to stop the vehicles which are entering from minor or side road to main road, these signboards are located to stop the vehicles. Next one, giveaway sign. It is in the shape of inverted triangle with apex downwards. It has a red border of 70 mm width and a white interior. See this, the border is red border width of 70 mm and it is uh, an inverted triangular shape which is apex is going downwards. The giveaway sign use it to control the vehicles on the road so as to assign the right of way to traffic on other roadways. So, to, to, the, to give way to the vehicle, for that, this sign is indicated. 
Next, prohibited signs. These are meant to prohibit the traffic movements or entry of certain lady class. These signs are circular in shape. So, except a stop and give way, remaining all are circular in shape. White in color with a red border. See, remaining all red border, white in color, all signs. If you see, all signs will be circular in shape, uh, red border, white in color. With red border and a red diagonal line. Red diagonal line also there. If you see, this is the red diagonal line to indicate uh, stop. Next. No parking. It is meant to provide parking of vehicles at that particular place. So, the place which is meant for uh, no parking of vehicle, there we have to provide no parking sign. The definition plate may be indicate the parking sign is circular in shape with a blue background, background, a red border, and an oblique red bar at an angle of 45 degrees. So there will be a definition plate in the no parking uh, sign the, below the circular shape. There will be uh, a definition plate will be there. Next, no stopping or standing. It is meant to prohibit stopping of vehicle at that place. The scope of the prohibition may be indicated on a definition plate. So no stopping or standing sign. It is also in circular shape with a blue background, red border, and two oblique red borders at an angle of 45 degrees to each other. Next is speed limit sign. See here, this is the speed limit sign, 50, 50, 40, like that. Uh, depending upon the place, the um, uh, limit will be changing. Speed limit sign. It is, these are meant to restrict the speed of all or certain type of vehicles in a particular stretch of road. These signs are circular in shape and white background, red border, and black numbers, black numerals indicate the speed limit, like 50, 40, etc., depend upon the uh, location of the uh, place. Next, the vehicle control signs, vehicle control signs. These are also similar to speed limit sign with black symbols instead of numerals. And generally, width limit, height limit. Height limit means if you uh, one of the vehicle which carries a heavy load uh, above the um, uh, above the uh, truck, which will be uh, uh, jammed in, under a bridge, so that there will be a limit for the height, and also length and the load. Load limit also will be there. Particular vehicle should carry some uh, tonnage load. Beyond that, it should be tonnage. Axle load limit, like that, there will be some of the controls will be there. So the definition plate may be used in combination to give more details symbolically or diverse. So a definition plate will be provided below this circular shape of the sign, where wherein we will mention the, um, the, uh, the details, either symbolically or by words. Restriction hints. It is the one of the uh, regulatory or mandatory sign. It indicates the restriction imposed by the sign is no more valid beyond this point. That means restriction is ended. Beyond that, you should not follow the rule. You can go as your own speed. So these signs are also circular shape with white background and broad diagonal black band at an angle of 40 degrees. Next, compulsory direction control and other signs. So, this type of signs are provided to control the direction of the vehicle by either enforcing it to proceed towards a specific direction. Go in this particular direction only. Like that, you, if you want to give information, this type of sign board you have to provide.
Okay. So to control the direction of the vehicle uh, by either enforcing it to proceed in the particular direction, this type of signboards are used. Some of the regulatory or mandatory signs standardized in IRC are shown in figure. IRC means Indian Roads Congress. So this is top sign 800, 900 mm by 900 mm width and uh, octagonal shape. And this is giveaway sign, inverted triangular shape with apex pointing downwards, which is having 900 mm width. And this is a slight prohibited uh, no entry sign. And this is one way sign. There is only one way. Both ways are not permitted. These two are one way signs. Next, vehicles prohibited in both directions. That means in this direction and in opposite direction also, vehicles are not allowed. For that uh, information, this type of signboards are used. Next, right turn prohibited. For that, you have to provide this type of signboard. U turn prohibited. Overtaking prohibited. See, this is the overtaking symbol. So here, we want to prohibit the overtaking process. That's why this type of signboard is used at the places where we want to prohibit the overtaking process. Wherever you are uh, showing to uh, uh, in the place of no parking, there you have to install this no parking sign boats. And this is speed limit, no stopping or standing, width limit, restriction end. That means beyond this point, beyond this uh, sign board, you, um, uh, you can run your vehicle as per the mm, your wish. Before that, till this uh, uh, sign board, you have to follow the uh, whatever the restriction given by uh, sign board, you have to follow up to this point. Beyond this, no need to uh, follow this regulation. Right? So these are the regulatory or mandatory signs. This is the first type of the traffic signs. And some of the uh, regulatory or mandatory signs also compulsory direction control signs. So you keep left, compulsory you have to turn left. Okay. And uh, compulsory, you have to go ahead only, no left turn or no right turn. Here, compulsory right. Here, compulsory ahead or turn right. You can go straight or you can turn right. Okay, here, you can go straight or you can turn left. Compulsory keep left. This is the signboard which is used to uh, uh, follow compulsory keep left only. So these are the compulsory direction control signs which comes under probatory. Um, uh, mandatory or regulatory signs. Next, warning signs. Warning signs are cautionary signs. This is the second category of traffic signs. No? Uh, second type, warning signs are cautionary signs. These are used to warn the road users of certain hazardous conditions which are existing on the road or adjacent to the roadway. So if there is any hazardous situations out there, to warn the road users or drivers or pedestrians or vehicle users, this type of signboards are used, which are known as warning signs, also known as cautionary signs. The warning signs are in the shape of equilateral triangle with its apex pointing upwards. See, in the first category, giveaway sign is apex, uh, apex pointing downwards, but here in this second, second type of category, the apex is pointing upwards and it is equilateral triangle shape. So the background color is white, and the border is red, uh, symbols are used with black color. This is the specifications used in the cautionary or warning sign. These are to be located at sufficient distance in advance to the hazardous conditions. So to prior information should be given to the road users or um, vehicle users or pedestrians. We have to give prior information that there will be a hazardous, hazardous condition in front of uh, certain distance. That's why you have to give prior information before the location, some one kilometer or half kilometer. Before the location, you have to give, you have to fix this type of signboards. The commonly used warning signs are short curve ahead, right hand curve, left hand curve, hairpin bend, along a left hairpin bend, right hairpin bend, narrow bridge ahead, slippery road, pedestrian crossing, Y intersection, Rough road, cross road, slide road, barrier road, etc., as shown in figure. So these are the symbols, uh, signboards, which are used for second category, cautionary or warning sign. Typical cautionary sign will be like this: equilateral triangular shape, apex pointing upwards. 
And for all these sign uh, symbols, we are not providing this uh, triangular equilateral triangle, but we have to assume that it was being provided. So in this apex uh, uh, showing upwards, in this equilateral triangle, the sign should be mentioned, right? So for every sign, you have to provide this equilateral triangle shape, right? So right hand curve should be shown like this, left hand curve, right and left, reverse bend right, cross road, that, that means Chaura star. Side road right, there is a small road towards right. And the T intersection, uh, major road ahead. So we are going in this direction, there will be a main road. Here we are going in this direction, main road. Narrow bridge ahead, like that, to show the condition of the road, to, to show the, to, uh, to give information about the Upcoming uh, obstacles or uh, 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 any warnings, we have to give prior to prior information to the road users by keeping the signboards in front of the at least a half kilometer uh, in front of the location. So these are the warning or cautionary signs. Next, uh, third one, third category, informatory signs. So these signboards are used for giving information to the road users about a hospital or restaurant or petrol pumps, etc. etc. Now see this, these informatory signs are rectangular in shape. What is the first category? Except um, after um, stop and uh, give way, remaining are circular shape. Second category, uh, equilateral triangular shape, apex pointing upwards. And the third category, uh, informatory signs is uh, of a rectangular in shape. These signs are used to guide the road users along the particular routes Inf and inform to them about the destination and the distance, thus providing with information to make travel easier, safer, and pleasant. So that's why we are giving information to the road users about some restaurants or petrol pumps or hospitals, etc. Prior information has been given to the road users uh, with the help of this type of rectangular shaped informative sense. The informative signs are grouped under following the subheads. There are five subheads. First one, direction and place identification signs. So if you want to go to um, Hyderabad, go straight. If you want to go to Vijayawada, uh, turn left. If you want to go to Varangal, turn right. Like that, direction arrows will be provided on this rectangular shape board traffic sign. Can go. Okay. And the place also, uh, name also retained name will be written and arrow direction also given will be given next the facility information sign what are the facilities are in front of your journey that also they will be uh, mentioned that means facilities like petrol pumps hospitals restaurants etc etc the information will be given to the road users on the form of rectangular shape sign boards next other useful information signs also given uh, parking signs, flood gauge. So, uh, if you want to know the um, what is the flood level, high flood level in that particular area when you are traveling in that particular road in the monsoon period, like uh, uh, Dindi waterfalls near to Sri Salem, uh, for that also this flood gauge sign will be useful. So, these are also uh, these are all five subheads in the informative signs. See one by one. The direction signs and the place identification signs are rectangular in shape with longer side horizontal. That means rectangle, you know, there will be two dimensions, one lengthwise and one widthwise. So here, longer side will be horizontal and shorter side will be upwards. Okay. The signs of this group include destination signs, direction signs, route marker sign, and the place identification sign as shown in the figure. So these are the... Uh, this is the road junction approach. Here we are showing if you go straight, you can uh, go to Najapurgar. If you want to go to Delhi, you have to turn left. If you want to go to Rotak, you have to move to right. Like that, destination and place identification with name, with direction also can be shown in this type of uh, informative sign. So this is rectangular shape board. Uh, lengthwise has to be provided with horizontal direction, 
and in height shorter direction should be provided. It is having two pores which are embedded in the ground. These two pores are 80 by 80 by 8 mm T-shaped iron, iron pores. Okay. The width of the board is um, 0.75 meters and the length of the board is 1.2 meters. Okay. So 1.2 by 0.75 is the size of this rectangular board. Right. The facility information signs are rectangular with a blue black ground and a blue background and white or black letters are symbols. These signs indicate facilities such as public telephone, petrol pump, hospital, first aid bags, first aid box, resting place. So these are all the facilities which are provided to the road users when we are in journey. So uh, prior uh, information has to be given to the road users when you are traveling on a car, on a vehicle, or as a bus. So, uh, to know the exact location from your point of journey, these signboards are useful. Next, parking signs. These are set up parallel to the road using square signboard with a blue background and white color letter P. P and a parking sign to this one. This is called P. Okay. Next, this is causeway. Here, if you want to uh, travel on this causeway, you, you should know the flood gauge level. What is the high flood level uh, in, in the monsoon season? For that, uh, you have to know the flood level. If you know the flood level, you can travel on this road. So if you want to you know, go to NH11, uh, like that, you have to go straight and then you have to take right. That is the NH11 indication. This is known as root marker sign, root marker sign. And this is flood gauge sign, flood gauge sign. See here, one feet, two feet, three feet, four feet, five feet, like that. Every feet there will be marking will be there. So the flood will be reached to one feet, two feet, three feet. Then uh, we will know the how many feet the flood is reached. Hmm? This is petrol pump sign, and this is first aid box, and this is restaurant, and this is a hospital, this is public health room. And this is eating place. Like that, we are giving some information to the road users with the help of these rectangular signboards, which are known as informatory signs. The size of the board is 0.75 by 1.2 by 0.75. 1.2 width, horizontal direction, 0.75 is width. Okay, length is 1.2, 0.75 is width. Okay. So these are the three types of traffic signs which are uh, in the, uh, according to Motor Vehicle Act 1988. Actually, this Motor Vehicle Act is formed in the year 1939 and revised in the year 1988. So what we have learned till now is uh, the motor, according to Motor Vehicle Act 1988, traffic sign boards are categorized into three categories. First one is regulatory or mandatory signs. Second one, warning or cautionary signs. Third one is Informatory sign. Okay. So these three are the traffic signs which are very helpful to road users while traveling on a highway or road. Okay. Thank you.